Good morning, everyone. It's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. And the Tempest Elite rerun has arrived, which means we have a bait banner. And I pretty much went over this in fairly good detail last night, so I don't think I need to make this video overly long. If you want to hear my reasoning for why this isn't good, I will put a link to last night's video in the description below so you can check that out. There's a timestamp for where I start to talk about it and what they do. But, you know, let's actually take a look at the banner. It is a guaranteed 5 star per multi. At 30 pity, you can exchange for a 30% ticket, uh, so 900 crystals. And if we look at the actual banner, is there anything else on here that would be shockingly surprising? So Rimuru, Benimaru is the best character here. Shuna is mid. Idol Shuna and Vengeance Shuna are also here. Oh, okay. And then Trainee. So, is, is, yeah, that's that's about it. So, Rimuru, Idol Shuna, uh, Furry Shuna, and then Tempest Elite Shuna. Okay, so, and then Benny Morrow. Alright, so those are the only EX characters available. And... <laughs> It's shockingly very close to the current Ogre's Pride meta, because Benny Mario is on it, not this Shuna, but then Idol and Ven or Idol and Bride Shuna are with Benny Mario. So here we've exchanged Bride Shuna for Furry Shuna, uh, a much worse unit in my opinion, and this Tempsleet Shuna is she's just severely underpowered for today's meta, and not just like Ogre's Pride in general, but just. Oh, underpowered. 30% pierce power for three turns sounds really cool because it's multiple turns, but in reality, that's not really giving you what you really want to see out of an EX team. And then Rimuru, I mean, is a serviceable single target alt. He's fire physical. The best single target fire nuker right now is the brand new Shuna, who is fire magic, so he does feel that physical niche. But other than that, I cannot remember the last time I legitimately tried to use him in actual content except for his rerun battle that's going to be that started tonight uh yeah what's the 5% rate for the first to ninth is 3.75 uh yeah okay and then the, then there's the guaranteed spot right which has its own rates hilariously yeah, 10th percent or 10th unit drop rate since it's a guaranteed 5 star. It has a higher chance 1.056 versus what I'm assuming is 0.7 or 0 0.07 somewhere on there. Oh, no, not even. 0 0.560. It's even worse. Yeah, no. This is not where you need to put your points into, put your crystals into. Again, remember I haven't said it enough apparently cuz people keep asking. The 3rd anniversary is just a couple months away. October 28th is the banner that everyone should be saving for. So just about two months and change away. You don't need to summon on this. You don't need to even summon on the Vengeance rerun, really, because it's over a year old now. And while it's still very good, it, it is being outclassed and it is being met with resistance in new stages to counteract it. So that's not where you want to summon. If you've done your summons for Mo Momiji and Benny Maru and you're happy with that team, maybe you pulled Soei off some lucky tickets or something, you just need to stop. You just need to stop. We have the next meta coming out in, I think, 10 days from now, on the 29th of August. And we'll probably get the live stream either that morning or the day before, one of the two. So this banner will be around until the 16th, much later than the 29th. Still, even even if we see the next meta and it's not what you want, I still wouldn't summon on this because this team is just not good. But again, if you want to hear my reasoning, the video uh, link is in the description below. Don't summon on this. Save your crystals for something much, 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 much better than this. But that's it for me. Take it easy, and I'll see you all later.